I have a problem. Over the next two days, I'm gonna be staying at two very cheap hotels with B. Hi. But I need your help in letting me know which hotel is the better value. Let's take a ride together and check out the first hotel. one hour before we're able to check into the hotel so what we're gonna do is find some food at the market called I think it's called the Cham Chambury market but I'll leave the link to the location in the description below in case you want to go check that place out yourself but it's very close to the hotel that we're staying at so we just arrived here at uh, Chambury Square and it's actually pretty nice and you got a lot of different shops here to choose from. Mo Mizo House Coffee Shop. You have a Auntie Anne's Pretzel Shop. Ya Kun Kaya Toast. Singapore Coffee since 1944. That actually looks pretty good. Starbucks Coffee and also a Cafe Amazon. While B is getting me some coffee, I'm gonna go over here to the SCB to get some money. You know you're doing good when you find a girl that actually buys you stuff and doesn't complain. Oh, cup and cup B. See that coffee hai pom. Americano my wine, my cup. And this is actually good for you to check out right now. Every single shop that's available here at Chambury Square. Who are you taking a picture of, B? interesting combination here. We got some green tea and some Americano coffee. Let's actually see if it tastes good. I wouldn't say it tastes good, the combination, but I wouldn't say it tastes bad either. Oh, that looks pretty good, B. Yeah, so our food has all arrived and I'm very excited to be trying this out. Uh, this was all only 300 baht, which is pretty cheap. Fried chicken with some kind of sweet sauce, I'm pretty sure, but it also has some carrots and pumpkins and all that good stuff. It is very good. It, it's kind of similar to Panda Express orange chicken, but it's way less sweet. Okay, so we just arrived here at the Tawana. We're gonna check in and then we're gonna check out the room and see if it's worth it or not. Let's go. Looks like they got a little coffee shop over there too. Garden down there. Yeah, real nice lobby. Wow, elevator is actually real nice. Still has that old fashioned look to it. We're on the sixth floor. Now we're inside the room and this room we were able to rent for about 500 baht which is only about 15 US dollars. Right when you walk in, you can see that you do have two robes here, some hangers, a safe. This is actually pretty cool. This is like a giant sliding glass door. So when you close this, you can see that covers up all the stuff in this closet. We're gonna have B test out the bed and let us know if it passes the bed test or not. There is a little desk here 
television, but when was the last time any of us ever watched TV? YouTube is the new TV, right? Some tea, some instant coffee. That's pretty normal for most hotels these days. And down here, we got two waters. Very nice. And we are on the sixth floor. So we do have a little bit of a view, nothing extravagant or anything like that, but it's definitely better than nothing. And then when we come over here, we can see this is the bathroom. The bathroom is a little old fashioned, but even though it is an older hotel, I'm still impressed with how clean they keep this place. I have no idea what this thing is. Let me know if you know what this is in the comments below. You have a pretty old fashioned toilet that looks like it's probably been here since the 90s. And we got another mirror so you can check yourself out after you take a shower. It might be a good scene or a horrifying scene. And the last thing is the shower. So we can see the shower is actually pretty nice, pretty basic. I do actually like this black tile here and you have a bathtub. Yeah, and we gotta check out too is the water pressure. Looks pretty good down there. Yeah, real nice. And this pretty much got hot instantly because I could feel the heat coming from the shower. For YouTube and Netflix, the Wi-Fi works really well. I also tried downloading about a 100 megabyte file and I was able to download that within a minute. And I also tried uploading the 100 megabyte file and it seems like that could have been uploaded to YouTube in just about five minutes. But for the majority of people, I think the Wi-Fi will be more than sufficient. Abi, buy a cup. Buy do sat by nam cup. Okay, I'm gonna buy do sat by nam cup. Buy nam cup. I feel like this hotel at one time was probably one of the nicest hotels in Bangkok. It just has a real high class luxury feel to it. Looks like you have a little jacuzzi on the right and a beautiful pool here to our left. Uh, this place is really nice and peaceful. Might be worth coming here if you just want to get out of your house or your condo for a little bit. Beautiful flowers here. I just want you to take a moment and enjoy this gorgeous view and the peace and quiet. So me and B decided that we're going to try and get a massage. So supposedly there's a massage shop right across the street. I was hoping that the night market was gonna be open and we could explore that today, but the employees at the hotel says the night market is closed at this current time. So it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to go and check that out tonight. But I'm sure there's still a bunch of good stuff around this area for us to explore. Right across the street, you have the massage shop and a 7-Eleven. Yeah, that was well worth the 300 baht for the massage. Most of the time for a foot massage, it's around two to 500 baht, depending on where you're going. So 300 baht for an hour massage is, is pretty good. I'm not sure what this is. I need to like help. It's a Namatum. Namatum is... It's not a Namatum. 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 It's not a Namatum
Uh, tastes pretty good. It's similar to tea. It's a little sweet and tastes like water, I guess. This is good to know. You have a Bangkok hospital nearby your hotel. Check out that Burger King over there. This is actually a fine dining restaurant that we're passing right now. I'm not sure if it's open or not, but we're not gonna go eat here today, but we can check it out from outside. There's a Korean barbecue restaurant nearby too, but unfortunately we won't be eating there today. Okay, so we just arrived here at uh, Cheaper and Better Street Food. And it looks like you can actually sit outside or you can go over here and sit in air condition. We got one of these deep fried fish with sweet and sour chili sauce, which is only 200 baht, which is very cheap. And I also got some deep fried spring rolls. Wow, look at this glorious fish. So me and B both agree that that was some of the best Thai food we've had in a long time. I highly suggest if you come out to this area, you check out that restaurant. And over there is a super famous temple. And the last thing we're gonna check out today is Lumpany Park. There's tons of people today. There must be at least, in this entire park, there must be at least a thousand people here. This shrine over here was the thing that I really wanted to see. I saw this online and I thought it was pretty cool. And it looks like B found a new friend. B me kwam sok ti chap meow la pa. Chao, me meow. Chap meow, me kwam sok ti don chap ka B la pa. It looks like it's gonna rain pretty soon, so I think it's best if we go back to the hotel. And this is the little coffee shop and restaurant they got here at Tawana. It's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna have a blueberry cheesecake with some coffee. So I'll see you in the morning where we're gonna check out the next hotel. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning now and we're getting ready to check out of the first hotel and then head to the second hotel. So let's say goodbye to Tawana. Bye bye Tawana. <laughs> So we just arrived here at the Key Premier Hotel. So I'm gonna check in and then we can check out what the room looks like. And after we check out the room, you can let me know which hotel you think is the better value, the first hotel or the second hotel. Let's go check this place out. This is the second room that we're checking out today. And we were able to rent this room for 872 baht, which is only about 27 US dollars. So let's check out the room. Right when you walk in, you do have a safe, some hangers and an umbrella. I think this is actually pretty cool. Instead of having a deadbolt lock, you have this right over here. And you do have to put your key card in here in order to turn the power on. And of course, we're gonna click do not disturb. When we walk over here, we have the bathroom. And I actually think the bathroom is pretty nice. Check this out. Got your toilet, your sink, towels, a mirror to check out your gains, a hair dryer, shower cap, 
Q-tips, sanitary bag, and a bar of soap. Don't drop it. And over here, we have the shower. Very clean. Air conditioning is a little bit loud though. I think you can hear that. Shower gel and shampoo. The water pressure does look pretty good and the water is nice and warm. And one thing good about this shower head is you have a few different options. And let's go check out the rest of the room. Also, make sure to stick around because we're gonna check out the pool, which actually looks really nice. So the air conditioning was pretty loud when you were in the bathroom, but once I close this door, you can't even hear it anymore. I did test out the Wi-Fi here, and it seems to be sufficient for basic work and also YouTube and Netflix. We have a place over here to put your luggage, a refrigerator here, complimentary waters, Looks like we're getting four, which is pretty good. Most places just give you two. We have a TV and B. Hello. Very large bed. I would say this is probably a king size bed. B long non ti tiang hai noi. Kun wa nim mai? Nim kwa. Nung tung sip. B wa tiang nim ba man thalai? And over here, we do have a decent view of the city. So we're not gonna be able to check out the pool for a few more hours because they're making us wait in queue. So I'm gonna take her to one of my favorite dessert shops in all of Bangkok. And it's called the Bangkok Baking Company. And it's located right next to the JW Marriott Hotel. Nearby, you have a Burger King, a little hut Thai food restaurant, Carl's Jr., and of course, a Starbucks coffee shop. This is actually pretty impressive to be sleeping on a motorcycle. You have the BTS Nana Skytrain station nearby. This is actually pretty awesome. This is the pool here. The funny thing about B is she actually can't swim. So it's good that you can actually walk in this pool because if it was seven feet deep, she would be dying right about now. If you enjoyed the video, please give the video a like. Also comment below, which hotel do you think was the better value? Hotel number one or hotel number two? And keep watching more videos over there.